So many times we start doing something and then we stop. This happens numbers of times to people who want to learn English. Um, if you go to an English school, it can be a matter of money. But outside of the matter of money, I can say it's because you do not use the right strategies. You will see that you will start very well, you are very motivated, you really want to do it, and after a period of time, you're going to feel discouragement, lack of self-confidence, and then at last will come the idea to quit. Now, the question is, how do we proceed if we don't want to stop very soon? My name is Pretty Fair, and today in this lesson, I'm going to give you five strategies that you can use, five strategies that you need to use if you want to speak English very well. Okay, let's get started. Number one, it's a very simple question. Why? Why what? Why do you decide to learn English? Why do you want to speak English? Because your reason is going to be your source of motivation. If you don't have a motivation, that's the reason why sometimes you start and you stop. You restart and you stop over again. The bigger your reason is, the more your reason is important, the more you will give yourself to English, the more you will devote yourself to English. If you don't have a source of motivation, you will stop very soon. That's the reason why you need to take a little time to ask yourself this very simple question. Why do I want to speak English? If you know the answer to this question, now I can say it's a very good way to start. Number two, believe in yourself. There is nothing that you can accomplish if you don't believe in yourself. Sometimes people are your obstacles and most of the times you are your own obstacles you are the reason that prevents yourself from moving forward you are the reason that prevents yourself from progressing from achieving your goals don't care about what people say don't care about people's opinions about you that's not the most important the most important thing is what do you believe about yourself um i don't know about your capacities I don't know about your abilities, but I know this. There is a proverb that goes like, where there is a will, there is a way. Which means, if you believe that you can do it, I'm not saying that you're going to do it, but I'm saying that you will do all in your power. You will do everything that is possible to make it come true. So stop believing in what people say and start trusting yourself. Believing in yourself is a very great way to start accomplishing your dreams or moving forward with your, um, to your objectives. Number three is shyness. Shyness, it prevents you from speaking. If you are shy, you can speak English. Or you will speak English, but you will not speak English to your full potential. Sometimes people, they are shy because they are afraid of saying something wrong and people laugh at them. If you spoke English already, you wouldn't be learning English right now. It's because you don't speak English, that's why you are learning English. So it's normal to make mistakes. Now, the problem is repeating the same mistakes. Now, what you have to do is not being shy or being afraid of speaking. But the most important thing is not to make the mistakes, but it's to learn from your mistakes. Every time you make a mistake, people correct you, and now you know the correct way to say it or the correct way to do it. You're not going to repeat the same mistakes over again. So this is why it is important to get rid of your shyness. Because if you are shy, you will always have some lags. You will, you will be very unstable when you are learning English. So it's not only when you are with yourself, like only you in a place, but when you are with other people, you need to feel very comfortable. Number four is very important. It is 
Only one word. Patience. You need to be very patient with yourself. Even if you see days have gone by, weeks have gone by, and you are unsatisfied with your English lesson, be patient. Because learning how to speak English is step by step. You cannot rush. You need to take your time. When I say being patient, I am not saying that you don't study, you don't practice, you sit down, and you are waiting for yourself to speak English. No, you are patient while you are working very hard, while you are making a lot of sacrifices to learn. This is why it is very important to be patient with yourself. Um, if you are not patient with yourself, you are going to rush, you are going to try to speak very fast, and if you are learning, if you are a beginner, you can speak very fast. You need to take your time to articulate the words well in order to have a good pronunciation, a great accent, and to say everything, not to like you understand them, but so that people can understand them too. That's why it is important to have patience, to be patient with yourself. The last thing is time. No time, there is no way that you can speak English. You need to have time for English. Everything that you need to know, you need time for that. Everything that you need to do, you need time for that. Maybe you are very busy, you are a very active person, but you also need time for your English. If you are at work 24 hours 7, or you, you don't have time for your friends, or, but you need time for your English, if you want to improve your English. The more you spend time with English, the easier or the faster you will speak. It is important to give time to your English because um, English is like a habit. English is just practice. Imagine that you repeat the same words every day or you repeat the same sentences every day. So now after a period of time, it's not going to be very difficult for you to say those things because you repeat them all the time and now you are not going to think, they will just come automatically. So English, speaking English is like a habit. The more you spend time with English, the more or the faster you will speak English. English doesn't need a lot of time spent with. Since you, it is in your mind, since you are focused daily, everything like that's in your mind, you're trying to say that in English, that's important. But it is also important to give a specific time to English. You need to schedule a specific time to, for your English. You need to put aside a specific time to practice your English. Either it's for studying or for listening to something important or for speaking English with somebody. It is important that you put aside a specific time for your English. I think that this is all for today. We've talked about five important strategies that you need to use to speak English. You need to know the reason why you're learning English. You need to believe in yourself. You need to take your shyness away. You need to be patient with yourself and to finish. You need to put aside a specific time for your English. There is no better thing than studying a new language. When you go somewhere, everybody is speaking, and you are not, even if you are a stranger, but your tongue is not a stranger, because you know the language and you can speak, you can communicate with people. I am telling you, if you want to have this adventure, this is one of the best decisions that you have ever made in your life. In the next video, I will be talking to you about the best ways to use to improve your speaking skills, your listening skills, your writing skills, and also your reading skills. So all you have to do is subscribe to our channel so that every time we release a new video, because we will release a new video, at least one video a week. So all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so that you can be alerted every time that we release a new video for you.